Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to solve percent problems using the percent equation. And specifically, we're going to take a look at finding the percent. Now for the percent equation, we can use the percent times the whole equals the part. This equation can help us with any percent problem, whether we're looking for the percent, the whole, or the part. We plug in what we're given and solve for what we're looking for. Let's jump into number one where we have what percent of 60 is 57? I'm going to start by writing the equation using variables and then we'll plug in. So percent times whole equals part. P for the percent, W for the whole, and A for the part. Now we plug in. And as far as identifying the different parts of the equation, so figuring out the percent, the whole, and the part, there are different ways to go about and think through this. But what I like to do is start by identifying the percent and the whole first. When it comes to percent problems, we're going to have a percent of a whole amount which gives us the part. So we can start by looking for that percent of a whole amount. And to go off of that, of and is can be helpful keywords. Of can be associated with the whole and is can be associated with the part. For example, number one, we have what percent of 60 is 57. So what percent of 60, what percent, that means our percent is unknown, of 60, so our whole is 60, is 57. So 57 is the part. So let's plug in starting with the percent, which is our unknown. So we keep our variable P times the whole, which is 60 equals the part, which is 57. Now let's solve. So we need to isolate that variable of P. P is being multiplied by 60. So we need the inverse operation, division. So we need to divide the left side of the equation by 60. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 60 as well. The 60s on the left cancel each other out. P is now isolated, so P equals, and then on the right, we have 57 over 60, 57 divided by 60. That's going to give us a decimal, and then we're able to convert that decimal to a percent. 57 divided by 60 gives us 0.95, 95 hundredths. So P equals 95 hundredths. Now, again, that's a decimal. So dividing 57 by 60 gives us a decimal, and then we need to convert that decimal to a percent. And all we need to do in order to convert a decimal to a percent is multiply by 100. And a quick way to multiply by 100 is to move the decimal twice to the right. So for 95 hundredths, move the decimal once, twice to the right, and we get 95 percent. So P equals 0.95, 95 hundredths as a decimal, and we converted that to a percent, 95 percent. So for number one, 95 percent of 60 is 57. So whether you're using a calculator or working this out by hand, we get the same thing either way. Now, I'm not going to work these out by hand in this video, but if that's what you're looking for, I do have videos where I do work through these types of problems by hand. Those links are in the description. Let's move on to number two, where we have 20 is what percent of 48? So the wording is a little different here, but it's the same type of problem. Let's start by writing out our equation. So percent times whole equals part. Now we can plug in. We have 20 is what percent of 48. So 20 is, 20 is the part, what percent, the percent is unknown, of 48. 48 is the whole amount. With the percent being the unknown, we keep the variable P times the whole, which is 48, 
equals the part, which is 20. And now we can solve. So we need to isolate the variable p. p is being multiplied by 48. So we need the inverse operation, division. So divide the left side of the equation by 48. Whatever we do to one side of an equation, we must do to the other. So divide the right side by 48 as well. The 48s on the left cancel each other out. P is now isolated. So we have P equals, and then on the right, we have 20 over 48, 20 divided by 48. And doing that division, 20 divided by 48, is going to give us a decimal that we will then need to convert to a percent. 20 divided by 48 gives us 0 0.4166666. And the sixes repeat. So we get a repeating decimal here. Now let's convert that decimal to a percent by multiplying it by 100. So we can move that decimal once, twice to the right. And the decimal goes in between the one and the six. So we get 41.6 repeating percent. We can put that bar above any repeating digit or digits to show that they repeat. So for number two, 20 is 41.6 repeating percent of 48. So there you have it. There's how to solve percent problems using the percent equation. And specifically, we looked at solving for the percent. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.